I'm Mark Hobbs, I'm the Structural Engineering Lead at INEOS Britannia. I started sailing when I was about 10. I learned to sail at uh, the local reservoir at Beale Valley, and that was in Optimists initially, and I went on into 420s and then did team racing when I went to university. I studied engineering originally, and then after my initial degree, I went on to do a master's in yacht design, and then got offered an opportunity to do a PhD there, and stayed on looking at yacht rigs, which was a, a very interesting and challenging thing to go through. And after that, I went to work for SP, working on a whole range of boats, from ribs through to super yachts. And then had moved on to work on architectural projects, predominantly on large-scale structures in composite materials, doing large projects in the Middle East, and also worked on a range of carbon fibre structures special structures for Apple. An opportunity came up to join with INEOS and it was a chance to go back into boats again and working on the architectural projects has been really interesting. It's been very good working with architects, seeing how they approach problems and how they come up with solutions. But my heart's always been with boats and working on the America's Cup's always been a, a childhood dream for me. When I was at SP, I was lucky to work on an America's Cup boat for the 2007 Cup campaign in Valencia. I did the structure for Victory Challenge, which is the Swedish challenger there. But I've always wanted to work on a Cup campaign for a British team. When the opportunity came up, I jumped at the chance. So I look after the team of structural engineers working on the boat, and we're responsible for the, the structures, everything from the tips of the wings up to the top of the mast. It's our job to try and make the structures which will give uh, the highest performance possible, but also be able to withstand the loads and the conditions that the boat throws at them. We deal with, with structures which are very optimised, we want to try and reduce the weight as much as possible, but we're dealing in quite a dynamic environment, the loads are quite uncertain, and the boats are, are sort of pushed very hard, so we have to make sure that they're reliable. Um, but they can meet their performance objectives as well. But the favourite part of my job is actually seeing the results of your work come to life, not only when you first see the boat finished and built, when we do the testing and see it going, uh, but also when you see the boat go out sailing, you see the results of your work, and that, that was the reason I wanted to go into engineering in the first place, was I wanted to be involved in a career where I was creating something and I could see the results of my work being realised and it's very rewarding when you see that. It does sort of bring some, some nervous moments when the boat's out there, you know how heavily loaded it is, you know how close to the line you have to push the structure and also at the end of the day both the, the campaign and the people on the boat are, are relying on us to give them a reliable boat that'll um, hopefully do the job of bringing the cup home.